healed up and everything, but how much are you looking forward to being able to put the pads on and finally be able to hit something? I'm ready for the first game. You know, I'm ready to get back out there and you know, enjoy the sport. But uh, first scrimmage, I'm looking forward to it. It's, you know, these couple days are flying by, so I'm ready. Are you at a point mentally where you're just not even thinking about the injury and you're pretty out of right Yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking about the injury. My coach is more thinking about that than me. You know, even when I got back out there, I mean, I don't, I've never really thought about my knee, you know, even when I was coming back from it. Cause I just, I'm one of those players that play with reckless abandon, so. Chris said that he felt that you're even further along, you're better now in the game in the spring than you were before. Do you feel physically that you're further along, that you're doing more and more capable than you were before? Yeah, I mean, from a, from a knowledge standpoint, I'm, I'm a lot better because, you know, over that time that I sat out and even that spring that I did get in after my freshman season that I was hurt, you know, I, I, I acquired a lot of knowledge. So I, I feel like I'm uh, a lot better football player. You hear guys all the time talk about, you know, when they have to watch from the sidelines, they pick up things. What did you learn the most about the game by having to watch last year? Um, a lot of footwork stuff, a lot of – a lot of, just a lot of little things that where you, you don't have to waste as much energy, you know, to you know, to get to your goal, you know what I'm saying? And then just just the overall game, the game in itself, like um, addressing formations and um, time and get offs based off of different things you see on the field. But I'm just just, you know, little when you're out there as, you know, your freshman year, you're sitting there just, you know, trying to read, react, and you're looking to the sideline because you don't want really to get cussed out. You know what I'm saying? So, um, after that, that's, that's you know, just that more swagger about you that you know, makes you a better football player. When we talked to you last in spring, you, you talked at length about players you had studied at that moment. Was there anything else you went back to, to look at this summer that you really wanted to study? Yeah, I did. And there's a lot of things that's going to happen in the season, but I'm not going to tell you guys about it. <laughs> I think you don't want to get into it now. No, no, no. You got some new moves? Yeah, secret. Carl, can you talk about the your role in defense and playing the butt position and is it a position you like and if so why do you like it? I like the position because um you get to go make plays, you know, it's not really a, it's not really you're not holding many blocks for the backers. You're going to make the plays yourself so that's that's why I like, you know. I feel that's a natural thing for you to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really natural. Who was playing behind you today? Um, I think Cameron Tony. Huh? You talked to Coach Thompson about your dad and his experience with that? Yeah, yeah. I asked him what type of player my dad was, and I got nervous, and he told me he was a good dude and uh, worked hard and all that type of stuff. So. Speaking with your dad about Coach Thompson before like, when he first got hired and those things, what you kind of expect? Well, no, because he was a – my dad was a fullback. Now, my dad's – one of my dad's best friends was uh, named Marco Coleman. He played in the NFL for a couple of years. Now, he told me about uh, Coach Thompson, you know, because he – you know, Coach Thompson trained him, so that was – that was pretty fun to hear about him in the old days and all that stuff. What do you say? Can't really tell you all that either. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, knowing how valuable you are in the defense, are you expecting to see much time in the scrimmages, or do you think that you're not going to get full contact? Until well, no, I, I need to be in the scrimmages, and uh, I need to I need to be out there. But the thing with, you know, as you know, with Coach Muschamp's defense is, defense is, he's trying to prep as many guys to be – good as possible so there's no overly valued person you know what I'm saying so it, you know a team that just puts one more emphasis on one guy you know what happens when that one guy goes out you know they blow up so everybody's training to be good so I don't really think it's a, a value value thing and I, and I need to get reps you know I was real glad when I got back out there because in the spring they were limiting my reps but today during camp uh, I made sure I went through all my reps and you know it, it's a good thing for me because it's going to get me better. Oh, who do you think you fit in this defense to Kind of use versatility and everything. What do you mean? How what just just must jam's defense? How what is it a good fit for you? Something allows you to do some. Yeah, it's a, it's a great fit. It's a great fit for me. Uh, who who's a guy or two that people maybe don't know as much about on this defense that you feel like are guys they're going to know about here pretty quickly? You never know with camp, but I mean, there's there's tons of guys with ability. There's Devereaux, There's there's Justin Garrett. Who else? People. Don't Let me 
is Dontavious Russell. They don't really, I mean, I feel like you guys might know about them already. Uh, there, there's a couple of guys that, you know, if, if, you know, we, if we, uh, me in general, if we all buck up and, you know, we we'll do what we're supposed to do, we get, uh, be game changers. Kind of your early impressions about the camera? Um, you know, just freshman like everybody. No pads to put on, you know, so I don't really, really know much. And big dude, big dude. Well, how about how you look at those guys, and you you were one of them, not not so long ago. Do you get, do you kind of look back and say, wow, I, I remember what it was like to be him. Oh yeah, I remember what it was like. I mean, let me put it this way, you know, the freshmen waste more energy doing stuff than we do. <laughs> when, you, when you when you know what you have to do. You you don't gotta spaz out and all that type of stuff. You're comfortable with yourself. And, you know, so, appreciate it. Appreciate it.